Hello everyone and welcome back to a new video. Over the last few weeks I have been determined to start on a project that I will be continuing with for the foreseeable future. It all began a couple of weeks ago where I noticed hairs on the field outside the back of my house. I grabbed my camera and ran to the back fence and I sat for about 40 minutes with them where two hairs came incredibly close and it was such a wonderful moment I wish that I got some video footage as well. I will show you some of those photos now. From that day on, every time that I had the chance to go out, I sat at the back of my garden for multiple hours, waiting for the hairs to appear once again. But the timing wasn't exactly the best. Three storms hit the UK with such force and a lot of the time the hares were either over on the far side of the field or hunkered down sheltering from the wind and the rain. But that didn't really deter me because I knew that there was other wildlife out on the field as well. Some of these species include buzzards which actually rode on the wind when they were at their strongest. female pheasants and male pheasants and the ever common wood pigeon would often be walking across the field picking up food. I did recall myself talking during that time but I felt as though I wasn't getting the whole picture. The hairs were very off in the distance and I just wasn't happy with the content that I was going to show so I kept at it, kept recording video and getting very distant shots of them. This is probably one of the first times where I really committed to one project close to home. This is going to be ongoing and I'm still learning as I go. And the patience definitely paid off one morning where the weather was just right and I got the encounter that I experienced those few weeks ago. Hi everyone, so you join me on another day with the hairs. And I think there's about five. They have been chasing each other since I've been out here. I've only been out for five minutes. But there was two originally chasing each other, which I believe are the two that I originally photographed. And then I think another two came out, but it possibly might have been three. And they're chasing each other. They run to the dike. And there's one back out now. Um, but yeah, the speed that they're getting this morning is absolutely incredible, so hopefully I'm going to be able to get some video footage and some photos as well. So we'll see what happens. There's definitely something different about this morning. Uh, the hares are um, very much nose to the ground. Um, they're constantly sniffing, which I believe that would be the males trying to smell out the females. And yeah, they just seemed just totally much more active than what I've had over the past couple of weeks. Um, they've been running back and forth across the field and they've been going in the ditch, out the ditch. So there's definitely something stirring this morning and the speed, like I said, the speed they're getting is absolutely incredible. I was lucky to get a video of one running straight across. Um, but yeah, there's the odd individual just going straight across the field. Um, and yeah, it's just a case of waiting to see if they'll 
want to get any closer this way. Um, but yeah, anything can happen, so I'm just going to wait it out. It might be an hour, it might be a couple of hours before they get this way, but the fact that I can actually have this experience with hairs so close to home, literally, you know, in my back garden, is it's just an amazing thing to be a part of. And, you know, hopefully it could turn out to be that I'm able to identify them by any marks or if they're a certain size or certain colour. So no matter how long it takes, this is going to be a journey worth following, I think. And it'll be very much nice to share this whole experience with you. You know, the, the good and the bad. The bad being uh, the horrible weather that I experienced last week. I didn't realise how windy it was until I looked back on the footage and it's just constant wind. Um, which is why I refrain from sharing so much of my words. Um, but yeah, all in all, you know is an experience that I'll probably never forget, especially that one morning and again just be able to come out and they're still here um, and during March Madness as well. I think that's why most of the males are so riled up and are constantly running because it is, you know, that time of year. So it looks like I think one ran into the forest and there's still a couple in the ditch. So. I'll go quiet for now and yeah, I'll uh, see what else comes along as well as the hairs. I was really worried that I wouldn't get much more video this morning, but I'm nearly crying. Um, it that one hair just came in so close, and I don't know how well you could see it on the the phone video I took. You still there at the minute? Um, I'm. So Speechless. It was. I was so happy when I got the first few pictures a couple of weeks ago. But um, and then that one just he came by once. I didn't get the video that I really wanted to because he came in so close that I couldn't um. I couldn't zoom out in time and I couldn't get the focus. Um, and then he he went to the forest to join two others. And then he just came out again and was so close I just couldn't believe it. He's still there eating um, so I've got video and footage and it just goes to show that you know being dedicated to what you love it pays off dividends and <laughs> yeah that was just um, amazing amazing to witness I'm very cold now, um, I'm going to see if he'll come back this way and if the others will come out but I, I think I have a video now, um, you've obviously seen what I went through the first couple of weeks with uh, the, the, you know, the, the storms that came um, and how far off they were and I was doubting myself the whole time, I thought I, thought I would never get a video out of this, it would be probably months. <laughs> Um, and then that just happened and it just goes to show, you know, wildlife doesn't always work for you, but when it does, it can just, it can make your whole day, 
or week. Um, so yeah, I've, like I said, I've got video to show you and I've got pictures as well of that one individual. So I've got birds around me at the minute. <laughs> but um, yeah, I'm just going to show you that and I'm so much looking forward to having more encounters like that with these hares. They're just wonderful animals. He's coming back, so I'm going to get some more pictures. Um, if nothing else happens, then thank you so much for watching. Thank you for your patience. And I'll be seeing you all again soon. Goodbye.